Good evening, good evening, my friends. Today, today I'm reading out of 1 Samuel 16, verse 7. And, you know, this story, I was just thinking about what I was saying yesterday about Moses and and how he was just out there leading the sheep, right? And then the Lord called him. And interestingly enough, um, the same thing really happens with David um, and I just highlighted verse 7 but but I'll just talk about that because we're at this point where the Lord sent Samuel to anoint one of the sons of Jesse he didn't tell him which son but um, Samuel starts anointing you know going to anoint the son and he sees the first son and the Lord said to Samuel don't judge by his appearance or height for I have rejected him the Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. And all that to say, you know, then, it, you know, Jesse brought forth the rest of his sons. And then David wasn't even there. <laughs> but the Lord had saw, and saw this in David already, even though. Like, David wasn't there because men didn't believe David would have been even the one that the Lord saw. Because men look at the outward appearance. But David was out with the sheep. Just like Moses was out with the sheep. And the Lord came and got him. Because of his heart. Because his heart was in the right place with him. And it just, it just spoke to me again about... You know, it's like it says, seek first the kingdom of heaven and all things will be added unto you. If, if we're doing the Lord's will, like in our life, like living for the Lord, having our heart in that right place, a, a position of being mindful of him, being mindful, loving our neighbor as ourselves, loving the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, and strength. I promise you, the Lord's going to come get you. And put you into some position, uh, uh, doing something. You know what I mean? Like, like God wants us to do great things. It says the whole creation groans, awaiting the manifestation of the sons of God. There's there's a place where we have um, to be, you know, put out into the world by God, and He's waiting for us to be ready for service and and even though uh david wasn't yet ready for service he brought him in and then he used years of affliction with saul chasing him running in the wilderness all these things to prepare him for the, the being king so in the same way you know god's gonna pull you out pull me out uh as long as we're right here you know what i mean right in our heart and i love that the lord is looking at the heart so let's look at our hearts today let's like lord just help us to have a heart that when you see it you're pleased with it and let us not worry about what men think about our outward appearance but let's be concerned with what you think lord amen